Hi, stargazers. This is Marcy at Burst Sky. Have you noticed the stars of winter are back in the morning sky? The waning crescent moon visits three of our brightest stars on the mornings of August 17th and 18th. On August 17th, the moon lies between Capella and Aldebaran. The ruddy star Betelgeuse is nearby. Then on the morning of August 18th, the moon floats between Capella and Betelgeuse. The orangey star Aldebaran is nearby. Capella is a yellow giant star and the brightest star in Auriga, the charioteer. It's the sixth brightest star in our sky and it's actually a four star system. It shines with a golden light and it's located 42 light years away. It's about 10 times the diameter of the sun. Aldebaran is the fiery eye of Taurus the bull. It's one of the stars that make up a V-shaped group of stars, the Hyades, that forms the bull's base. It's our 14th brightest star and is located 65 light years away. It's a red giant star and about 44 times the size of our sun. If it replaced our sun, its outer atmosphere would extend past the orbit of Mercury. And Betelgeuse is the red supergiant star found in Orion the Hunter. It's our 10th brightest star and located about 650 light years away. It's at least 700 times larger than our sun. If it replaced our sun, its outer atmosphere would extend past the orbit of Jupiter. And recently, astronomers confirmed Betelgeuse has a companion star. Someday, we don't know when, this massive star will explode as a supernova. Aren't stars fascinating? Please like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss any upcoming night sky events.